Hey everyone, well I've just about got the Cub engine done here and as soon as we get our new prop and get it bolted on, we'll be able to actually commit aviation for the first time in about three months. Now I expect about 50 flying hours from now, I'll be pulling the plugs in this engine for cleaning and gapping. And if you do that kind of maintenance on your own airplane, Tempest says it's a good idea to check the spark plug resistance in addition to the usual cleaning and bomb testing. Let's take a close look. Spark plug resistance has gotten to be a bit of a controversial subject, but we're getting reports from uh, some owners who occasionally say they're curing rough running engines by replacing plugs that showed high resistance with new ones. Well, what's high resistance? Tempest says anything above 5,000 ohms is too high. Now, if you've got a multimeter like this one, you can just test each plug individually. It takes a little dexterity to get it right, and maybe a bench vise or a third hand would help. Well, Tempest has developed another way, and it's this uh, spark plug resistance tester. And it's really nothing but a simple go-no-go -no -go resistance bridge. You mount the plug on this probe and then touch the lead to the plug's center electrode. If it shows a green light, it's below 4,000 ohms, while a red and green indicates the plug is still serviceable. But a red light indicates uh, over 5,000 ohms and the plug should be replaced. As you can see, it's easy to use and it'll make quick work of a dozen plugs from a six-cylinder engine. You can find out more about the resistance tester at TempestPlus.com and it's available from AircraftSpruce.com for about $130. For AvWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli. See you next time.